percentage of finishes here in Boston was, was very, very high. And of course, the kind of the reason for that is runners have to qualify for this marathon. The Lion's share of the two anyways. And that's the only marathon in the world other than the Olympic marathon, but that is the case. So. <laughs> on fire. As you can clearly see, the fire is all alone. Smoke is going towards the left. Step by step, you'll see something come in from your left. And to me, it looks like it comes in first. Right there it is. You see it? Right there. Whatever that is, is coming in against the smoke. Let me back up again. Initially, the camera person catches it as it's coming in. There it is. Starts to come in right there. Lights up. Destroys everything. Watch this in real time. Navy patients, as you know, from, from the explosions here in Boston, went to nine different hospitals. You're talking uh, about 70 patients. Probably that number is going to go up going to a small hospital there in West, uh, about 200, 230 bed hospitals. So much different situation in terms of resources. I also mentioned, Piers, in terms of fertilizer. Something blew that factory up. Sorts of different concerns that come to mind. Uh, certainly the explosion itself, the blast, as you heard Pierre.
Drones have become the symbol of America's undeclared wars, wars that seem to have no state or legal boundaries. We've opened up a new realm of warfare, a new realm of breaking, breaching international and domestic law. Used in Pakistan, Yemen and elsewhere, they have killed scores of civilians. The former chief counterinsurgency strategist for the U.S. State Department has estimated that drone attacks kill 50 non-targeted persons for each intended target. Thank you. 